And so an almost eight hour long period of deliberation has finally come to an end with some flag bearers parents as well as representatives venting their displeasure over a number of issues that occurred during the MPP Super Delegates Congress last Saturday. A lot of people are not happy with the Northeast issue. I think the Nalerugu issue is the only region that something did not go well. And I think there's going to be further investigation to basically ascertain the meeting involved representatives from the island and the Afriya Koto camps, as well as Kojopoku himself. And of course, one of the biggest contenders, Kennedy Japan, came along with a vehicle full of evidence. And after hours, he refused to utter a word on the outcome. But while we await the recommendations, the national chairman of the party, Stephen Ayesu, in team, did not mince words when he stated that all persons who were found culpable of attacks will be punished for their actions. That's one. Disciplinary measures will be put in place. Uh, investigations will be conducted and if somebody is found to be culpable, uh, discipline will be meted out accordingly. Now, spokesperson for the election committee, Afenyo Markings, however says another meeting is bound to be held. They had an opportunity to give us a full report of what happened. We we are going to meet some other members again on Thursday. We also had an opportunity to meet with one of the aspirants who made certain statements, which statement went viral, and had a positive engagement with him. And I must say that so far, so good. For now, we await recommendations from the election committee as well as the final verdict of the party on whether or not another electoral college will be held. It's just a matter of prevailing on them to uh, if one could give in to the other. But it looks like they are all prepared to go the full hall. So we are getting ready to uh, meet tomorrow, National Council. Next we we'll meet, followed by National Council, and then trying to find a solution. Judith Awuchitando, TV3 News, MPP headquarters, Accra.